Hi, my name is Christine Beard and we're here at the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts in Vancouver, BC. And today we are baking scones. So, um, in this bowl I have prepared our dry ingredients. Dry ingredients is our flour, baking soda, baking powder, and sugar. And then I've placed our cold cubed butter in here. I'm going to show a couple different ways of how we can get the butter into cut into our um, dry ingredients. It's important to use cold butter for a couple reasons. Uh, we want to use cold butter because um, if we use soft butter, what happens is the butter ends up um, blending into the flour and it will not give us a good rise. We actually end up getting rise from the butter as it melts in the oven. There is actually water in butter and it creates steam once it um, gets to a high enough temperature. And then um, it helps with our leavening. It gives you those um, flaky, uh, nice, light, fluffy uh, scones. So one of the ways to cut butter in is by using a fork. We're basically just going to use um, the fork, press the butter through it, and we're gonna get these really nice small pieces of butter. And this is a great way um, to do it. We also can use two knives. I will show you that way. And this is how my grandma used to do it. Um, just two knives and she would just cut exactly what it needs. Cut the butter in. This helps prevent the butter from melting um, and gives us nice small little pieces. You can also purchase a pastry cutting tool. There's a variety of them in the stores. Um, they are quite nice to use as well. Probably a little bit easier on your hands and they might have work a little bit faster. So if you're doing a bigger batch than this, you could use one of those. And if you like, um, you can also, just to get a good feel of the butter, you can also break it up by hand. I recommend this as your last resort. If you're gonna do this, it's really important to not warm up the butter too much because again, warm butter um, will uh, blend in with the flour and we won't get that nice flaky dough or um, scone that we want. So our butter is nice and cold. I'm going to break it up with the fork just a little bit longer. <clears throat> Until I get the size of coarse cornmeal. When making um, scones, we don't want to have large I guess hazelnut size or pea size pieces of butter in. If the butter sizes are too big, when you go to bake, what happens is the butter will actually melt right out of the dough and you'll end up with your scones sitting in a pile of butter and it, you don't get that leavening action from it um, because the butter has melted out before the steam's been able to form and give you a little bit of leavening. So again, really important, we want to go with coarse cornmeal. So try to stay away from pea or hazelnut size. Those are the size that you want for when you're making flaky paste or flaky pie dough. But we're not making pie dough today. So we want to make sure that we have nice coarse, a coarse mixture. So I'll get it started with the fork. You can also do this in, if you have a stand-up mixer, so such as a KitchenAid mixer, you can also use that. Um, I recommend using the paddle attachment. You can put all of your dry ingredients into the bowl, use the paddle attachment, and just turn it on low speed and let it mix until you get that crumbly, uh, coarse cornmeal texture. So I'm going to finish up this last little bit just by hand to make sure that I don't have any terribly large pieces of butter in here. Always so nice to make a small batch at home. Very rustic, very quick to, to mix up. The KitchenAid mixer will go a little bit faster. And the nice thing about that is you can walk away from it. If you don't have all of your ingredients scaled all at once, you can just throw all this in the mixer, turn it on first or second speed, walk away for a minute, and when you come back, it's all ready to go. Okay, so if you take a look at that, we have a nice crumbly dough. We don't have too many big chunks. The butter, we have some nice, nice small pieces of butter in there. 
So now I have nice cold um, milk and yogurt. And I'm gonna mix this in all at once. You can use a rubber spatula or you can use a fork. We can make a little well in the center here. We're gonna take our cream, or sorry, our yogurt um, and our milk and we're gonna put it all in the center all at once. And then we're gonna start mixing it until it turns into a shaggy mass.